America. Hello world. Uh, I thought I'd try to show you guys how to uh, shift an 18, 18 speed transmission. Uh, do a little bit of um, explanations because a lot of people, there's 18 gears in it. How in the world could you keep track of everything? It's really not as hard as you think. Uh, it's kind of harder to master it, I guess. It's kind of like uh, Kind of like shooting pool. It's easy to understand, but it's hard to get good at. Does that make sense? So, all right. What we have is an 18-speed Eaton Fuller transmission. Okay, it's the biggest transmission that they make now, um, as far as number of gears, 18-speed gears. Um, they uh, they make an 18-speed, they make a 15-speed, they make a 13-speed, a 10-speed, a 9-speed, and. Uh, I don't know down below that. That's the lowest that I know. It was nine. I think they, they used to make an eight and a seven, but not anymore. So anyway, we got we got we got nine, ten, thirteen, fifteen, and eighteen. Those are your your five main type of transmissions in trucks today. Um, most trucks out there, most of your big company trucks, your big uh, big fleet trucks, they uh, they usually use a nine speed which is basically what this is. It's a nine speed, just doubled. Okay, let me explain that. You have your typical H pattern, just like in a, like in a, uh, a sports car or, a, or a, 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 uh, let's say a Mustang, okay? And you've got your, your five speed transmission. I know they make them bigger than that now, like the Corvettes are what, seven speeds? But let's just say a five speed transmission. You got reverse, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, makes sense. You have five gears, and then that's in low range. Then you have a, on the front of the switch up here, or on the front of the gear shift, there's a, a switch. It's an up and down high load selector switch, okay? Well, in low gear, you go through five gears, and then you go to high gear, and you don't come back to first gear over here, which would be sixth. You don't go back over here, because fifth gear in low and sixth gear in high are the same ratio, okay? So you skip this, this first gear down on the bottom, okay, uh, bottom left. All right, so you go one, two, three, four, five, you flip the switch up and then go to six, seven, eight, nine. Make sense? Nine, nine gears, nine different ratios. There's actually 10 gates, but there's nine different ratios, okay? What an 18 speed is, is this little button on the side, it splits every one of those in half. So you have nine gears divided or multiplied by two is 18 speeds. So this is the way, I won't move the shift stick because it won't go in very smooth unless you're rolling. Um, but I'll just move my hand. This is in neutral. So there's neutral in the center. Okay, there's in the center. So we're gonna go in this pattern right here, okay? All right, so first gear would be over and left with the switch down and the switch back, okay? Down and back. Over here, okay, so watch my thumb, which is this right here, this little button here, okay? And then when I go to high range, I'll go like this, okay? All right, so we're gonna be first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, oh, I messed up somewhere. <laughs> Start that over again. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there's 10 gears in the lower, the lower range, okay? Then I'll flip to the high side, and instead of coming all the way back to this gate, we'll go up to this gate. So we're from, we're, we're at 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, that's your 18 gears. If you want to understand that better, just rewind it and watch it again. <laughs> all right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, okay? All right. You don't go through all 18 gears every time you go through the gear shed, gear patterns, okay? Um, a lot of times, especially with me, when I'm hauling empty traders, I don't need to use all 18 of those gears. Those gears are there for when you have really heavy loads and you're pulling mountains. Uh, so I skip a lot of gears. And on this transmission, I basically drive it like a nine speed until I get over into ninth gear over here, and then I flip the switch up into 18th, okay? So my gear pattern, I gotta think of this here, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Okay, I would start out in fifth, which would be where third gear might be, okay? I'd start out in fifth, then go to seventh. I wouldn't use the thumb switch. I won't use the thumb switch until I get all the way up to the high, high the 
the high uh, gate up here. So I'd start out in fifth, seventh, ninth, eleventh, thirteenth, fifteenth, seventeenth, and then I'd flip the switch up to eighteenth. That's the way I normally drive. So I skipped a lot of gears. I skipped all the little granny gears, the really low range granny gears, and I've skipped every other gear. I, I, I haven't split um, the, the gears with, the, with the, the thumb splitter, okay? I went from high to low range, but I haven't used the thumb splitter until I get all the way over here and then flip up, okay? So I'm gonna try to do this, and hopefully the camera will hold still. It's just on a tripod sitting here, so hopefully it will, it will hold still as I go down the road here. So, let's give it the old college try. Low range and back, okay? We're gonna start out here. First, second, and the third. We're gonna start in, in the third gate, which is fifth gear right now. That's fifth gear. I'm gonna go up to seventh, then to ninth, okay? And then I'm gonna go to high speed, or the high range, 11th, 13th, 15th, 17th, and while, by that time I'm up to about 55 mile an hour, I'll flip that and go into the 18th gear, the highest rear gear, okay? So that's how we're gonna go. We're in fifth gear right now. I've, I've taken my foot off the clutch. I'm not gonna use the clutch anymore. It's what they call floating or speed shifting. Uh, it's called floating gears, and I go into high range, and that's up to 11th. That's 13th. That's 15th. We're going 30 mile an hour. Back to 17th. We're at 55. Now we're in 16th gear. All I gotta do is let off the, let off the pedal a little bit, and it will automatic the air shifter down underneath. The, the air pressure actually puts it into that uh, 18th gear. I haven't touched anything as far as the trailer. The, so as you noticed, I didn't use the clutch until uh, I, in, when I was a dead stop. I used the clutch to get going. I didn't touch it after that. From then, I just floated gears. You just you feel the gears meshing up. Okay, when you feel the gears meshing up, and you go back, you know, go into that gear. When you let off the throttle, it takes tension off of the gears. You push it out of gear and into the next into the next gear. That's up in uh, 16th right now. All right. There's 17th, I came back right here, that's 17th. There's 18th. That's all it is between, for splitting the gears in half, it's just right here, and you're just letting off the foot feet. That's all you're doing, is just letting off the foot feet a little bit. It takes the pressure off of the gears and lets the air pressure underneath shift it for you, okay? So I'm in 18th gear, let's say I'm gonna hit a hill. I drop down to 17th. All I did is push the switch back and let off the, the throttle a little bit. That loosens the gears up enough for the air shifter underneath. The, it's like an air solenoid, and it shifts it into the uh, the low, you know, the, the, the lower half of the gear. Okay, so I'm going up the hill. Let's say I'm not, but let's say I'm going up the hill. I crest the top of the hill. I want to go into high gear now. I flip that switch and I let off the throttle and back into the throttle, and it's getting shifted underneath all on its own. Okay, and I haven't yet, I haven't touched the clutch at all. So. I hope that kind of gives you a little idea how these things run, how they work. Like I said, you don't use all 18 gears. You only use about half of them most of the time. What the, 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 the split gears are for is if you have a real heavy load and you're in mountains, you can split each of those gears and keep that tack in the right, uh, the sweet spot as far as the, the torque range, okay? so. Anyway, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of questions on this one. So. <laughs> Ciao.